I must protect the wild. Oh, I'm not playing on Europe right now. It's just maybe it's just the computer isn't super good. It's kind of a weird curve to keep with the coin. But keeper with the coin, I, I think I'm just gonna keep it no matter what against Paladin. If anything, I'm Wolgan Shade. Because Shade isn't super great. So I could play turn one shade, but I guess the problem with turn one shade is oh, I do have a living roots to kill the juggler. Definitely feels pretty good actually. So I can play it before Data Consecrate. If he plays juggler, I'm gonna have to kill Living Roots. Because I can't risk the juggler into muster for battle. Otherwise, actually this is kinda awkward to play Living Roots against Oh, it's sweet draw here. Probably just passed him up, he doesn't have cock hammer. It's not really any way I can really play around cock hammer anyways. It's just like a neighbor drumming right now. But I can silence that. I like it. Clears the board. It's huge. Plus, if he's running Creeper, it's very likely it's a uh, Secret Paladin. I'm gonna on stealth here. He's 4 3 and Stu 2. Not gonna keep my guy stealth very long. I just wanna play my hand too. Divine Favor could be coming at some point as well. Getting ahead on board against Secret Paladin. Just try to snowball from there. I like the science my neighbor. That'd be cool. Let's target the other guy across the room. Guess other house. Yep. Pretty good living roots here. I don't think I'm really in um, any hurry to well growth with this hand. It's not like I really want to well growth into force of nature next turn. Let's see what I draw. Yeah, I'm just gonna live in roots here. I don't want to trade any of these in. And very likely I pick up a free kill on the second half of the shredder. Plus with this hand, I have a lot of damage. If we ramp, I might build. Oh no, man! I'm I'm like so far ahead. Like before that, I could just probably have tried to finish him off a combo and race him, get him so much damage. It's like hard for me to, not not to even trade because uh, it kills my guy for free, and I can't deal two damage next turn. Not easily. I don't think so, it's too much damage loss. I mean, I might just have to Savage or something to deal two damage. Like, good thing about against Seeker Pal and against with Druid, you don't really want to play slow, because Doctor 6, 7, 8, those kind of cards are really hard, but Seeker Pal doesn't really have a lot of defensive cards. So if you let him like, play in a Serious Challenger and Doctor Boom and Tyrion, it's like, pretty easy to lose from there. I just need something good. Uh, oh well, I'm just gonna go for it. Face. Might hit off this divine shield. I see attack first in case no sack. All right, fifteen. So I'm one off combo, but it's hard for me to play emperor than combo. Wait, 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 if I play Emperor, combo costs 9, costs 7. I wonder if I just hear power when I combo him. I, then I can do 15, because I can't Emperor and hear power on the same turn next turn either. Still not sure about the secret, other than the fact that I know it's not repentance or competitive spirit. Could be another noble sack, which might mess me up on my combo. 
He, he actually has some healing, but he's still still with the Stumper. I guess he can trade both in, but it gives me more time. I actually wouldn't be s sad if he trades both in, because if I play my Shade after the Knife Jugger dies, it's like in a way a lot safer. I feel like I could probably kill him anyways, like with the Shade in combo. But Shade, like, dies <laughs> to Juggler a lot of times. So not too bad in, in this scenario. Um, at 11, he has 7 damage, so 4 more da I died of Blessing Kings. I actually died... Well, actually, if I... Uh, if it's Noble Sack, Avenge, I'll lose. I'm just gonna play this first, get some more information. First one... Uh, it's bad, because it's very likely Noble Sack, Avenge. Or Competitive Spirit. It's Competitive Spirit, I take a... Uh, go down 10 attacking, and then it's... 4... Seven, eight, nine. So I don't technically die completely, but can I? I guess it comes down to whether I can kill him or not. Because it doesn't even matter if I can't win. No, I can win. Because I can just attack next turn, and I can do fourteen there. No, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's kind of close. I can't attack here. Competitive spirit. Might have just died. I can kind of still kill him. It depends on the shredder, basically, or if it's noble sack. Hopefully, for my sake, that's an avenge, not a noble sack, and that uh, he doesn't have Tyrion. Oh, oh, rip! No wounds anymore. Not that I know of. I have to think of depends what I get. I'm pretty sure there's nothing, but it doesn't hurt to see. I'm not really smart enough to know, know everything about this deck. Actually, closer than I thought. Can't really uh, play around. Like, can't really play the Force Nature first. It's <laughs> crazy. Then, if it's explosive, keeping Emperor, I don't think is good. Like Sylvanas is like much more of keep than Emperor. Nice, got this combo. Not really a combo, just a good curve. I know Priest is really weak to early Shredder, unless they have... The scariest thing is like if they get off like early curve, plus Velen's Chosen, but... It's, it's like the longer you wait, the more chance they have it. Otherwise though, like if they don't have Velen's Chosen, like a 4-3 kills so many of priests early game. It's, it's like, it's the worst feeling. Especially if you innervate out a Shredder. And then they play like, I don't know, it's like so hard for them after. Ah, oh, okay, it's circle two, so I don't, I don't even have to think about wrathing it. Don't have a good move here, because Shredder, he gets the kill for free. I'm assuming when he does this, like, he doesn't really need... He can just heal, right, as a priest. So it's gonna... I'm gonna have to do 5 damage to Blade Master. The real problem is he's a Chow. So most of the time, Shredder's second half gets eaten up by the Chow for free. I'm not sure. Like, it honestly feels better to play Shade, because... Then, sometimes, like, he's used so many cards already, he might not have anything to do with his hero power, other than just pass 3 mana this turn, if I'm lucky. The other way, he can use it f for sure. And I can unstealth the shade next turn and play Drew of Call, kill, kill the zombie chow. Oh, that was a really good draw. Might have just saved my life. Where shall I go? 
this kind of locks this guy down. Because it's hard for him to trade and heal, right? I mean, he will probably still have to, but it's just a little bit awkward at that point. Oh no. Wow. What other Nara is this? Yeah, I guess I have to expect Sword Bone Light because he's playing that kind of deck. I'm thinking of killing the Void Master instead of this guy. I think I will. We'll do this instead of the other way around. I'd rather have a 4 1 taunt than a 4 1 non taunt because. I don't know. I mean, it's a shade of grow, but it dies anyway, so it's bored. I think I might as well have the taunt for some reason. Like, I figure he doesn't really matter, like, if he heals here and buffs this up. It's gonna die anyways when it trades into any of these guys. Hopefully. Yeah, I guess I want to kill a Blight Master. It's super scary to leave up Blight Master. Not that it's not scary to leave up Blight Warden, but I'm trying to make the best play anyways. That way I get to use my hero power efficiently, because otherwise I'm not really using my hero power on anything other than his face. Alright, probably just play lore here. It's not the worst if he cabals. I don't think I'm gonna like trade in. Just because it's like pointless. Well, I mean it's good against Cabal, but if he cabals I get a good trade there. And it's really it's really bad to trade him because he can hero power trade in. Wait, I guess it doesn't matter that much, but... Let me change your mind. For the most part, I get a free kill. And also, 2-1. Two, two, hmm, who knows. I don't know. I guess while I kind of expected this, it's not the worst, because of the Alcanine. It's like, I really want to play this taunt here to stop the trades on board. But then it messes up my curve, because on turn 9, what am I going to do? I guess I still have potential moves. I might even charge, I'm not sure yet. No, it's too dull, I know that. Demper would allow me to play like this and this next turn, maybe even more, because it's Emperor, like it reduces. But it's like, kind of weird. It's like too weak. To this trade there. Actually, I'm pretty sure I should have charged looking at it. I was like thinking of Holy Nova, it'd be bad of a charge because I have two two health minions. This is even worse against Holy Nova. I, I didn't really see it at the time because you can just trade in Cabal and Holy Nova. That's worse because I don't even like I don't even kill the keeper. I don't hope he doesn't have Holy Nova. I'm just gonna have to play two minions here. Ooh, interesting. Not really getting much of a discount here, but the thing is, it's really important to have this against Sludge Vulture or Second Cabal over a Shredder, like just a 5 5 here. Kind of okay against Second Light Bomb because of the Keeper. Death, I guess, but it's like, whatever. Seems like it's going to be a good carrier for him here. It's a lot of mana to play a good big death rattle. I need the lores. Actually, did I, have, did I already draw lore this game? Let me change your mind. At least he has no more. Might just combo here to clear. I'm going to clear like this. And play... one of my guys, because at 3, it's like better to have a 5-3 than 5-1, I don't care about my health that much, especially against Nova and Pyromancer. I kind of feel like I should play Shade now, based on how I play, because we need to start going for Valley game instead of Tempo, and as we run out of cards, and the earlier I play Shade, the more value it is, kind of. Like, okay against Nova, it's 5-3. Light bomb, I guess, is bad, but it's not like Shredder is that great against light bomb, anyways. Is someone injured? I hope that he doesn't play a Sarah here. Oh. 
It's painful because he needs to draw a lot. I don't think I can afford to force nature one guy. Even if I'm not saving for combo, yeah, I'm basically force naturing just this. I, mean, I do feel it's pretty likely a villain chosen's here, but I guess I'll try it after if he villain's chosen. Pretty sweet. I guess I give him another card though if I swipe the Akanai, but swipe another way, it loses my Drake. I'm probably gonna have to do this. I doubt this game will go to fatigue. It's when I ask me value, I think it's like more from like the hand, how much things we have before we run out of cards. <clears throat> Didn't seem like it. It'd go to fatigue. I'm pretty desperate. Not looking good. I lose the Sludge Vulture here. I guess there's no way for me to win against Sludge Vulture. I could take this trade, but this is my last turn that I'm getting 20 damage from combo, because after this I'm getting 14. I might have to just YOLO it that he doesn't have Belcher, which is not super unlikely. Like he he probably does have it. And hope to top deck force nature number two. Wait, wait, have I ever used one? Oh, it doesn't even work. I, th I feel like, yeah, I've used one. Hmm. I'm gonna time out. No, no, okay. I could I just like ran time and panicked and wasn't sure how to trade exactly. Kind of, this was like the best way to trade if I wanted to trade, but yeah, now unfortunately, still don't really win. But I think it's better than going for it. I don't really have anything I'm going for, like no outs. I feel oh man, I feel like I have to cycle. Wow, it's so bad to cycle here though. I have to win last minute and I'm bored with this game. And the good thing about like the Pyromancer version is some of the cards aren't good individually. Like you might have circles and things like that. It's like really awkward sometimes where you have a whole hand full of nothing. That's the bad side of this kind of priest. No need, no point in playing around Cabal. He's already used both. I just need Boom and Lore. Drake, those are the big cards. Hope he's stuck with a handful of situational cards. So he got the Entombed card. Okay, it's not bad. Just draw here and uh, probably trade. I'm um, trade for sure. I could trade like this. I don't think that makes any sense. Because this guy dies to anything. Unless it's like he literally gets a 0 4, but hopefully it just. Guy like kills it for free. It's even better. Do want to play around Holy Nova number two? So I shouldn't trade and then play big game hunter. That'd be super weak. It's only number Holy Nova number two. He actually could have excavate evil as well. I'm hoping he doesn't run you, Sarah, because of him tombs. Probably have to value my minions more than my spells here. Just praying at this point that it doesn't have AoE because yeah, Alcanai Circle is me the game, but I would lose anyways. Yeah, it's Alcanai Circle. I didn't play. He would just play Alcanai Circle and then can't really play Big Game Hunter into Alcanai. 
I guess I could hear a power, but it's like the point is I'm gonna lose fatigue and he heals for four every turn. If I only have five power on board, there's no way I'm gonna win. So I'm not I'm only getting like two damage in every turn. And I need the Savage Roar, so it's like I'm just gonna go for it. I don't think there's any targets, so it's not really about that. Just about playing around AoE. Oh, it's desperate. I think he has Holy Nova number two in his deck. Might be desperately drawn into that, because like the read is, he didn't buff another dude. Although that has the last, least amount of life. Or at least amount of damage, so it doesn't make sense either way to buff that. I still have Boom and Sylvanas in my deck, so I don't have to worry about Azure Drake and drawing into my last minion before killing this guy. It's not even. Oh, wait, wait. There is mathematical differences. I want minions, so I should. Two of four cards are minions, so draw first to get half minion, otherwise, 33% minion. Although it doesn't matter, I have four cards. Can't play the minion I draw anyways. I guess I should stop thinking about stupid things and just play stuff. There's no more light bombs. What is his last card? Circle. Oh, he's used both Alcanize. <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, this is why sometimes this pre stack is weird when you're running stuff like this. He might have like another Lionaru they saving as well. It seems weird. He doesn't run Pyromancer. I, I feel like he doesn't have it in his deck at this point. Pyromancer. Okay, that's yeah, that's Flash Hill Lander. That's probably it. So yeah, I don't kill the living roots anyways, I'm not gonna cycle here to get it. I think I'm gonna win. It's like I thought I was gonna lose this game. Almost even timed out the trade on Karen. I was super desperate. But... Preserved. I'll probably save the Innervate, because if I turn one shade, it means my curve is really messed up with Living Roots. And Living Roots, I think it's either turn one or save it for a spell almost. I mean, my curve is pretty good if I just Living Roots turn one. Getting my shade one turn later, but it's like I can play Coin Shade, Innervate Drake. Also, I have a way to contest Darnass Aspirant this way. Still not cheap, but I think I will kill it. I mean, at least I could save the coin if I don't play Shade. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so play Shade next turn and play Lore on turn. For no matter what I draw from Laura, I'll have Drake at least. It might be too late because for a while growth, it's like mostly by hitting beats, right? Like minions every turn. And I can play a minion every turn for the next three turns if you count this turn as one turn. Whereas wall growth, the problem is like, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't make sense to wall growth here. Unless I wall growth and coin out a hero power. Does that even matter? If I wall growth, coin out hero power. Wait, what if I play everything? Like shade, innervate, wall growth. That might not be the worst, actually. If I shade, innervate, wild growth, I'll five. I still have to.
I just play a Drake instead of a Lore, which is slightly weaker for four. But then I get this Wellgrowth down and say, I don't want to wait till turn ten to cycle it, and I'll have more mana the turns after. Oh, three four. Okay, he'll have exactly five power. It's kind of weird, and plus the math is on my curve. He can just trade everything and play at five drop. Probably save it for when there's some more tension. So I say he plays the Druid Claw, then there's not really a good way for him to kill Savants at that point. Or Sludge Belcher or something. Bad thing is I'm behind. It feels like I'm behind. Hmm. I'm bored because it's his turn. Being ahead in Druid Mirror is super important. Just because when you're on the offensive, finish them a combo, like they also have to trade into you. Druids don't have that many ways to trade. Like if one guy goes face, the other guy trades, you don't really get that much of a lead. Like, you don't really get more efficient trades in a way. Hmm. Actually, considering Drew the Claw here, Coin here, Power, Go Face. Swipe. Four. It's not that bad. Although, I, could just, I should probably just stealth one more turn. No, 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 no. This is a forcing move. This is why I played Druid Claw. It's a forcing move. It forces him to react to this. Because if he just plays a 6 drop here, he doesn't get that unstealth. Just like he sits there, plays 6 drops, too much damage. It's kind of forces like a swipe or a keeper or something. I have no time for games. Okay, so he just ignores it. It, it makes sense because that's such a good card. I'm gonna get stolen here. I don't think there's any way for me to avoid it. Not realistically. There's like some. Oh, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. What to do? There is a way. I can play Drew Call Taunt and then here power the 1 1 down. And because I have two taunters, it's not easy for him. Where shall I strike? I was gonna say, you can just trade into the shade, use his other guys to bust through the taunts. If I played Ancient Lore. You can just hear power trade this in, trade this steal, whatever I play like the ancient lore or something. But this is really good. It's not super easy for him to trade the five five into my five five. I guess if he busts or busts taunts, there be nothing for him to steal either. So he has to kind of get. He can trade into the four six and then kill his own guy or something. Some what? There are some ways he can do it, but it's definitely a little bit awkward. Oh, that's the best. I thought it was like harder for him to do all that exact damage, but the savage were made it super easy for him. I have no time for games. Oh, Might be dead here. I can't just hear power in a 14 because he can hear it's so obvious if I just hear power 14. Then all I need to do is hear him hear power as well. To back up to 15. So I'm hoping he doesn't have Keeper, because he already used one. Ah, uh, a lot less likely a second one. I'm probably dead now. I am dead. Uh, probably. He has a uh, 8, 9, 10 damage. So I'm, I lose to 1 damage. I could combo to clear. Hmm. Swipe doesn't do anything. I like this. I don't actually die to Drill Call in charge form. He has to kill this or he dies a combo. Oh, no, never mind. It's bad. I messed up. Oh, okay, rip. I forgot Shade Grew. I was like thinking you can't trade Keeper in, and if you trade 6 6 in, I can swipe the 6 1. So for some reason, I forgot Shade Grew. I, I don't really have a good follow up, even if he doesn't have anything. Just trades 7 7 in. Well, maybe I, maybe I do. The, the top deck. 
He doesn't have a combo, he might drew into it, but he also hasn't played any wall gross since his turn 9. So I'm pretty sure his hand consists of wall gross, which is kind of good for me. At least one wall growth. Hmm. Wow. Oh, so he's just using all his mana. He doesn't even need to play wall growth. I don't think it's reasonable anymore. Oh, wait, wait. I, I, I'm feeling like it might not be reasonable anymore to hold combo. Just because I don't think there's any way it's... Well, if I play Boom... This is a 5, this is 3, 5. Oh, interesting. That might be a good compromise. Swipe the Keeper, play Shade, and Hero Power Armor up. That's like relatively safe-ish. Obviously not as safe as clearing both, but that can kill him a combo. Even if he armors up to 13, I can do 14 with combo. Hopefully I don't die. But I'm not dead to like one card now. If I left up the keep rooms or just play Dr. Boom, it's like I died just the roar. I think. Yeah, I would die just the roar. <laughs> nice. Well played. Thank you. 